Support for this episode is provided by PowerPro. PowerPro, engineered performance. Hey everyone, and welcome back to the shop. My next furniture build is going to be a chest of drawers and I'll be using undermount drawer slides, which I've never used before. So I'm going to school here on a piece of shop furniture. I'll be using the Bloom Tandem Plus Bloom Motion drawer slides. They're 15 inch. One of the important things you need to know, if you're using 15 inch drawer slides, make your drawer 15 inches deep. Another important thing is the thickness of the material that you're building your drawer with. I'm using 5 8 material. And if you're using 5 8 you want to make your drawer a half of an inch smaller than your drawer opening. I've already cut the parts of the drawer to size. The next step is to cut the groove to accept the bottom. We'll go ahead and do that. Assemble the drawer and then install it in the cabinet. With undermount drawer slides, you need a half inch space between the drawer bottom and the bottom of the drawer. So I've set the fence at a half of an inch and lowered the blade to a quarter of an inch. I'll make one pass on a piece of scrap wood and one pass on all four drawer parts. Now I'll move the fence over a little bit, make another pass with the test piece and test the fit. Okay, and that looks pretty good. And you can see that I have the half inch needed for the drawer slide. And that's because I moved the fence over and not in. Now I can cut the second pass on all four drawer parts. You'll notice that a lot of videos will tell you that you need to notch out a space at the back of the drawer on both sides to allow for the drawer slides. I like to build drawers a little bit differently by ripping this piece completely off and that way the drawer bottom can slide into the drawer after the drawer is built. To do that, I'll simply measure down to where the groove starts, which is 8 and 5 eighths. I'll set my fence and cut it off. The next step is to pre-drill and countersink holes for the screws and build the drawer. With the drawer built, I'll cut the bottom to width. Then I'll drop the bottom in place, trace a line at the back, and make the cut on the table saw. With the drawer bottom flush with the drawer back, I'll attach it with a few screws. Now that I have the drawer made, I'll flip the drawer upside down with the back of the drawer facing me and drill the holes for the location pins in the drawer slides. For the drawer slide on this side of the drawer, I'm drilling a hole at 13 64ths to accept this pin. To find the location to drill the hole, I'll put the drawer slide in position, push it up against the back of the drawer, and give it a little tap. For the other side of the drawer, the location pin is bigger, so I'll need to drill a quarter inch hole and I'll find the location for the hole the same way. The next step is to attach the clips at the front 
and I'll use a self-centering drill bit to pre-drill holes for the screws. With the holes drilled in the back and the clips attached to the front, the next step is to install the slides in the cabinet. Where you install the glides is going to depend on whether or not you're using an inset or an overlay drawer front. This is going to be an overlay and I find setting the drawer slide about an eighth of an inch from the front works pretty good and I'll use the slotted space first and that will allow for some adjustment. Okay, now I can put the drawer into the cabinet and push it until the slides lock into the clips at the front. Okay, and that is about all there is to it. It's really pretty simple once you get the hang of it and get some practice. I should add that there are two different series of drawer slides. You have the H series and the F series. If you're using half inch to five eighths, use the H series drawer slides. If you're using five eighths to three quarters, use the F series. One more thing, if you're using three quarter inch sides for your drawers, make the drawer 3 8 smaller than your drawer opening. If you're using 5 8 like I did here, make your drawer a half of an inch smaller than your drawer opening. And if you're using half inch material for your sides, make the drawer 5 8 of an inch smaller than your drawer opening. So I found it helpful to watch a few videos. Two of those videos that were really helpful was one by Sean Boyd and another one by cabinetparts.com, and I'll have links to those videos in the description below. And last, all the people who thought that I built the thickness planer cabinet too low a few weeks ago, you are absolutely right. I did have a reason for it, but it turned out to not be a good reason. So I'm adding 11 and a half inches to the height of that cabinet simply by building this cabinet here, and that gave me the opportunity to get some practice with these drawer slides. So I hope you found this video helpful. As always, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Before you start your next project, visit my website and check out my professional woodworking plans. The detailed instructions along with material lists and free video tutorials on YouTube will help you build a project that will last a lifetime.